Nah, I don't pack nothing. Oh, I don't know if you got that ready here, G, man. Ready to take off. I'm locked in with the third eye vision, man. Let's take TV. off. We going up from here. 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 Yeah. We going up from here. 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 What's going on, man? We live on the scene to the slime race premiere. This movie about to be lit. Uh haven't seen it yet. I can't wait. It's amazing. Great group of people. Let's go. Finna check it out. We're gonna talk to a couple people. Let's check it out. Let's go. All right, boom. Hey, what's going on, man? This is Slime Race Premier, man. We got the man himself, man. Eyes Glue Production, man. What's up, bro? And tell us what's going on, man. Tell us a little bit about the film. Hey, man. We at the Premier Slime Race, the hottest indie film in the streets of Atlanta. Y'all get it here first, then we jumping on Tubi, man. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears been put into this film, this production company. We, we at the pivot point where we about to take off, man. Show, 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 man. West side in that bit. West. We got somebody special here, man. Right. Man, how you feel about Rob? Oh, no, you good? <laughs> how you feel about Rob's film? If y'all know, man, this is Pops, man. How you feel about Slime Race, man? I feel good about it. He always, this is his dream, you know? Oh, yeah. And it's a dream come true. He always been that way since a baby. He want to be in the movie. You know, he won't let me be in it. What? Yeah, I kept asking him. He wouldn't even let me be in. Well, he got a spot. He got a spot for you. Okay. He he has so many people in it. He he he'll make a way for you. Mm. Felt a little way, but it's cool. All right, all right. Appreciate you, man. All right. Um, we got somebody special. Another special person here. Yes, I'm Tanya. I'm Rob's mom. Oh, she took away my bag. <laughs> um, it's, show. it's so great to be out here tonight. I'm very proud of my son. Um, and all that he's done and all. You know all that he will accomplish in the future. Um, thanks you all for coming out tonight as well. Um, Give us an interesting fact about Rob. Just a random fact about Rob. Ooh, what to say about him? Um, I got some stories to tell. I don't know if he would want me to tell these, but but when he was little, like really really little, um, he has a nickname. His nickname is Roman. Okay. <laughs> one side, as a little bit, as a toddler, one side of his body was Rob and the other side was Rue Man. They had two different voices. So that's when oh. I really learned that um, he had some acting in him. Oh, like so, he yeah, he would me. throw, he would throw Rob on the floor and Rob had a deep voice. He was like, get off me, get off me, get off me. And Rue Man was like, get off me. <laughs> I told you he wouldn't want me to say it. But that's when I really learned that, you know, that he had some acting ability. Um, very creative. Um, very creative personality from birth. So, um, but yeah, that's my baby. And, um, any more questions? We're not going to edit it out. We appreciate that. And that's going in there. Yeah, it's going in there. Yeah. And guess what? He wouldn't let me be in the movie. He wouldn't? I kept asking like every week. Can you come again, move? And he left me on red a lot of times. Mm -hmm. I told him. Well, well, he's asked me several times to be in as well, so I said, you know, I might be ready for a sex scene. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, she ain't trying to talk, but we made her. Hey, Robert, I'm proud of you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and we out. Slime Race premiere. It's loaded, it's lit, man. My guy actually met him on the set as well, man. Uh, tell us a little bit about Slime Race and how it came about. Just you being on, being around it, and, and what you feel about it. Man, I feel like it's gonna, you know, it's gonna take my man to the next level. I mean, you know, he been grinding for a minute. I knew him since college, so, you know, I'm his part-time barber. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So, you know, I just, I just want to see my man excel, you know, black excellence. As my, like my brother from another mother, man. I just want to see him do well, so, you know. Hey man, shout out to Rob, man, he's solid. But the last thing for you go, man, how you feel about how he won't let me in the film? I'm gonna let y'all handle that. Okay. All right, bro. I, all right. Tell us about the character that you play. Uh, I play Detective Ricks. And as you know, it's called Slime Race. And when you watch the movie, you're gonna see why it's called Slime Race. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of somewhat thinking I'm kind of safe on all the, excuse my friends, all the fuckery going on in the movie. <laughs> And uh, I won't, I won't give away too much. Okay. But I had a lot of fun doing it, and I look forward to the next one. I hope everybody loves this movie because it's lit as fire. <laughs> it gonna make you laugh. It gonna make you squirm a little bit. It gonna do some things to you. But 
I hope everybody enjoys Slime Race. Detect the Rich. Timothy Lee White is my name. Look for me in the future because I'm busy. I'm out here and I'm going to be doing some stuff. So look for us. We got somebody here, man. He actually helped put in some work on this film, this amazing film, man. We appreciate you, man. A lot of times um, we look at the film, but we don't think about what's behind the scenes, the yeah. actual crew. <laughs> so tell us about being crew and, um, you know, being DP and stuff. Yeah, so um, every project is different. And, you know, Rob brought me on when someone else couldn't uh, work out, and I'm, I was good at filling the space. And I helped do some some acting coaching and whatnot. And, okay. you know, us guys in black, the crew guys behind the scenes, you know, we're, we're always doing something that uh, a lot of people don't, uh, don't know about. <laughs> You know, whether we're changing the batteries or, you know, putting the SD cards in. But ultimately, um, you know, Rob is a good friend of mine and I've been doing film. I'm an award winning filmmaker myself. I've been doing film for about 17 years now in Atlanta and I'm just out to support my man Rob. Uh, I can't I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet, Okay. but I'm excited to see, you know, what comes of it. And uh, yeah, man, being crew is a blast. I'm trying to act like, how much you gonna charge me to teach me how to act, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on which course. See, we have the package deals that start at... Oh. No, I'm just And the way, so in the package deal, you already know. Yeah, so no. Yeah. No. What's going on, man? Welcome to the premiere. Thank you for the flowers. I appreciate you. <laughs> and she's nice, boy. You're the first person to really show me love. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, welcome to the premiere. Um, so, word is that you play in this movie. I do. My name is Mian in the movie. Okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about your character. Um, my character, I'm the, I'm the gangster baby mama. Oh, shit. I make uh, things happen in the movie. You did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I make things happen. Shout out to um Rob, man, Eyes Glue. That's right. My boy Rob, he doing his thing. Congratulations. Keep going. Keep doing you. Very proud of you and the success that you're doing, the people you bring with you. Thank God, good luck, keep going, keep faith, keep praying. Facts. Yeah. I, mean, I can't wait to see your scene. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it's you. So <laughs> Man, it's your boy Danny Digital. Follow me on all social platforms at Danny Digital. That's digital with two L's, man. I'm just out here doing event recap coverage, taking all the pictures, all the stills, man. Hit me up if you need your event recap coverage. Got you. You dig, man. He's solid, man. Hit him up, man. Hey, you excited about this film, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see it, man. I'm, you know, I haven't seen it yet. And, you know, the, with just the turnout that I'm seeing coming in here, I know a little bit about movies. And this turnout shows me that y'all put in some budget on this movie. So I'm looking forward to see what it's going to give. Fast, fast. Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you. Slime Race premiere, man. We got some of the stars from Slime Race. Hey, man, how y'all feel about this film, man? Man, I'm just excited, and, and I'm, I'm glad about the turnout, too. It looked good in there, man. I'm just happy everybody that came out to show support, you know, with everything that we did. We shot this film, man, with, with no budget, and we put that shit together, you know? You know what I'm saying? But we going to do what we do, man. Everything is covid steady, so we just waiting on everybody to show up, having a great turnout, and ready to get y'all this movie. Okay, but we ain't we ain't gonna spoil it yet. But what's the character? What's your character name and um who you play in this film? Well, I play a dude named Threat. You know how you how you feel about Bishop from Juice? Mm, that's you. No man. Say no more. Say no more. <laughs> what's going on, fam? Man, appreciate you, man. Man, I just want to say it's been a lot of hard work and dedication that came through this, man. And as my character, I'm gonna leave that a secret. You gotta find out, man. Oh uh, man, see, how he, he gonna make us watch it first, man. Come on, man. Hey man, um, how you how'd you feel about the film, man? Like the work that was put into it. Man, like I said, a lot of hard work and dedication, and plus it was fun. It was always fun. Like anytime we do it, it takes a lot of time and concentration. And, but at the end of the day, the hard work pays off, and you see it. And when you see it, you be like, yeah, yes. And I guarantee you won't be disappointed, man, with this slime race. Hey man, slime race, man, it's coming out. We finna get ready to go in and watch it in a minute. Then we're gonna talk to him after this the before. Let's, Let's get it. That. Yeah, you tell us a little bit about the film, man. How you feel about the film? Oh man, um, I'm I'm here just like you, getting ready to check it out. But I'm hosting this event. My brother been doing his thing for a long time, staying strong, staying firm, and putting out these projects, man. I don't expect this to be no less than a great ass movie. You know what I mean? Slime race. Looking forward to watching it for the first time today, and we'll probably be seeing it a little bit more on, on television. We're definitely gonna be seeing a little bit more of me, Abernathy Jones. 
Hey, what's going on, man? You know Slime Race Premier, man. Tell us about your smoothies. You know, y'all on the vent. Y'all here, you know, getting good smoothies and all that. Talk to him. Yeah, man. Erica, my wife here. She the one behind it. I'm Rod. And we're doing these smoothies, blizzards. Okay. How long y'all been doing the smoothie? Ten years. Ooh. And what, what make y'all smoothies so special? <laughs> They're cheaper than the rest. You see them? Uh -huh. Bet. So, so, I want one. So, <laughs> I'm saying you gotta try, man. Like I said we got the smoothies, the blizzards. We do fried Oreos. You know what I mean? We check us out on Smoothie What's Moody's. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, man. Why y'all here? We are here to have a good time okay. and for a movie premiere. Okay, yeah. okay. Y'all excited about it? Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Man, appreciate y'all. Slime race. When we done, we're gonna um, tell us what y'all think about it. Look forward to seeing it, and we'll let you know that when we finish watching it. Yes, <laughs> looking forward to seeing it. It's my first time seeing the production. Yeah. So, yeah. Same. Same uh, here. Appreciate y'all. Look, man, you've seen the process from beginning to end. You actually play in there. Tell us a little bit about the process before we get into you and the role, but the process of you seeing the film and um, working with Rob and everybody. Just, just tell us a little bit about it. Give us an insight. Man, the process, man, we just put in that work for real, for real. We didn't really know all the ins and outs of the film game, but we, we fell forward, kept making sacrifices, kept putting in that work, um, giving, trying to give back to our community, too, by doing it in our neighborhoods where we come from. And Rod just paving the way for us, man, just showing us something different to be, man, playing a role, being in these movies, and just taking it serious, because one day it's going to pay off. Playing a role, being in these movies. Uh, facts. Definitely. Speak on yo, too, yeah. I was out there. I was out there, man. Uh, like I said, man, it was beautiful just seeing them guerrilla style out here getting it and really inspirational and motivation unity, to me man. and unity. unity. And his clothing, uh, crime, man. Like, tell us a little bit about that, man. It's just what it is, like a little bit like taking these movies. That's something positive. We ain't out here killing each other for real. We just it's fake. It's just we got toy guns, we got play play shit. This play play, like, we don't gotta risk our life. And, and and put and get 20 years and 50 years or be in the grave just to play a character we can get paid real money playing characters and playing roles or stuff we looked up to like the streets and the mob and and i just took it and just made a positive meaning to it like creating resolutions in my environment and that's what we got to do keep doing this for not only ourselves but for our community right right and the last thing what was the name of your character uh hollywood oh he, you, man, <laughs> you look it was it like a you played a Hollywood role type nigga, or you was just a Hollywood type dude? Nah, he just like one of them street superstars dude. Okay. Just come through the streets. He just got street fame. He ain't really yeah. got no dreams and goals. He just want to be the man in the neighborhood. He want to be yeah. the kingpin. He want to be yeah. the one the streets talking about. And that's just the main role, but he's slimy, man. He'll grind anybody <laughs> for a dollar. But to me, I took a little bit of his story. He was yeah. he was in that environment, so that's he was molded to be who he was. So yeah. you feel for him. His mom was on. You're gonna see his mom was on drugs and all this, so he come from poverty, but he just grew from it. Yeah. In the streets, nothing more. Thanks, man. Hey, man, we're looking forward to seeing more, and uh, appreciate you being solid as always, my guy. Most definitely, man. I appreciate y'all too. The love for y'all coming out, doing all this, and the support.
Hey man, what's going on, man? Look, the movie is over with. My opinion, the movie was lit. I'm excited. I'm lit, man. Tell me about the role you played in it, man. Your character. Okay, man. Listen, man. I played Bound. You know, to my, it, it was cool, man. Listen, I showed up to the set, to the set, right, just to go with the flow. I had my little GoPro camera and shit. Yeah. You know, to my, I was just recording some behind the scenes shit. And my dog wanted me to be a part of it, man. So he slipped me in, man. And I'm just appreciative of it. You know, to my. You think about taking uh acting more serious now? I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I just go with the flow. Yeah, so yeah. I'm saying, so so any way I can help, man. You know what I'm talking about? But I, I write, I do all kind of stuff behind the scenes. You did, so I'm, I'm just uh, I fill in the role. Hey, man, you know who really wrote the film, right? Mm. Oh yeah, my boy Rob. No, I did. Oh, you wrote the film? Yeah, man, he been lying the whole time. Oh, damn, well, I thought my boy Rob. Wrote no, it. bro. I, see, he ain't paid me yet, so I'm exposing it. He ain't paid me. As a matter of fact, I could have sworn my boy Rob wrote that film. Oh, bro, I did. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. Well, that's why let it be known. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right bro. Thanks, man. I had to pull it, man. He really be behind the scenes, man. He got his own film, too, but now I don't put him in front of the camera, man. It blow vision, man. What you felt about the film, man? How you felt about it? Hey, man, first of all, I'm proud of my boy Progression, man. We used to coach together way back at Adamville when I was a young, young whooper <laughs> snapper, man. Big facts. My boy done been around the world, film, and way to L.A., back to the A, man. But it was a hell of a film, my boy Rob Stoker, man. Keep progressing, that's what it's all about, man. Putting your ideas to film and pivot and got down, make the make the film come come to, come to fruition, man. So keep going, man. Slime race. Slime race. All right, one thing. He wouldn't let me be in the film. Let me can I be in yours? Cause Rob tripping, bro. You can't be in your, your next film. Man, I, I really kinda of passed the torch, man. So I'm um no. Well, I played a baby mama and it was awesome. I feel like I really tapped into the role and I'm a baby mama in real life, so <laughs> and now you killed it. What's next for you? Um, what's next? I do everything. So hair, makeup, fitness, she the six pack. So. Oh, don't play with her. Yeah, not one of them. No, she ain't one of them at all. Hey, look, what was your favorite part about the movie? Um, everything. Can't pick a fave. The whole thing was great. Okay, everything. Mm -hmm. You know who really wrote it, right? Robert. I did. Who are you? The writer. I can't tell you all that, but yeah, man, appreciate you. <laughs> She did her thing. Oh, you, 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 baby number one, two, three, or four. I think I'm baby number one. Ooh. Hold one on. Now. Let me start off. Let me start off. It's okay, right? The one, not the two. The one. How you felt about the film? I loved it. It was so fun. This is my first time doing it. So I loved it. Then he put my clothing line in it. Um, Boss Behavior Clothing. Yeah. Everything online, BossBehavior.com. So that meant the word to me. So yeah, it was fun. I liked it. Speaking of your clothing, man, when, how long you been doing your clothing line? Um, this year it may have been nine years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're a real boss? Yeah, yeah. How you came up with that name, Boss Behavior? Um, I just wanted to be something for everybody, the whole family, so I ain't want to be there. Strictly for women, strictly for men, so I feel like this unisex. Everybody can rock you. Did you like my role in the movie? <laughs> Where you was at, in the trap? No, the, the one time when I, was, I came out busting everybody. You was shooting? I shot up everybody. That was in the trap? Everybody. Yeah. Did you die? No, I wasn't in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you sitting there, so I paid Baby Mama number three. Mm. What, what that mean when you say Baby Mama three? For people who ain't seen it yet, what does Baby Mama three mean? Well, he had a wife, and he had Baby Mama number one, two, and I'm three. Oh. Yeah. I, I was, I was in the freaky Baby Mama little hood, right west side. Yeah, hey, real west side <laughs> shit going on. Yeah, you did. But look, um, I had got too drunk, so I ain't watched the film. Yeah, I got man, I'm drinking with him. I kept on going back and forth. So, yeah, let, let me know about it. Like, let me know what I missed. Um, I don't know what you mean. Do you think I got you? Nah, it came on. He was talking. I just blacked out. I got too drunk. Oh my God. So, the movie was by I um, I baby daddy he died. He left some money. Don't nobody know where it's at. So we looking for us. all the baby mamas on linked up together to take over and get the money. For sure. Did y'all get it back? They knocked off baby mama on three. Yeah. Yeah, we, we appreciate it. It was cool. I liked it. This is my first time acting. So, I think I did good for us my first time. For sure. When I get sober and, and when it come out on Tubi, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you know if you did good. Okay. You're going to let me know. Yeah. I'm, when I get sober and watch it when it come out. <laughs> let me know. Appreciate okay. you. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm the real shooter in the uh, world. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man. Look. Hey, look. <laughs> When we first talked to her, she ain't, she was she was all humble. Like, yeah, I'm just I, I just played this one little role. Yeah, I had to let y'all see the movie, see what really going on. You know what I'm talking about? 
But that real life, that how I can real life. So he knew the perfect role to give me. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But look, what about my role? You, you fuck with my role? What's your most definitely? Yeah, you seen what happened when I came up with the shrub and I was busting everybody and they were running I didn't and, see that. and then I robbed slime and then I robbed all them folks from Mexico and all that. I missed all of that. You might have been drinking them drinks back then. I think I will. I probably will kind of fucked up a little bit. Yeah, I came out like Scarface. Damn. Why was that? Yeah, these folks don't want to give me, like, really, I, I fly with a bad them, but you get number two, though. I, I take number two. Yeah, yeah, man, we appreciate you, man. We just had to get the name double back on you, because okay. she was all cool the first time, so we had yeah, to double well, back. Yeah, I was cool. I just had to let them watch the movie, you know what I'm saying, and see what was really going on. Okay, so where the folk can find you at, man? They can find me on Instagram at realleo3, at realleo3. They had my other page, fuck them folk. Man, but fuck them <laughs> folks, man. This movie was written and directed by me. <laughs> yeah. He did a good job at writing the movie, y'all. Yeah. yeah. Don't let nobody tell you nothing. Okay. Next time. Next time. I'm oh, yeah, what's going on, man? Talk this this my best friend right hey, here, y'all. Hey, hello, world. <laughs> she on her way up. Yep, we on yeah, our we way going, straight to the top. We're going to Hollywood already knew that where we going anyway. We're going to Hollywood next. Yep. Hollywood. Oh, oh through yeah, there. Oh, yeah. That's the side. To my sister, yeah, she did the thing right. on the screen. You know what I'm saying? Come on head, come on head, go on head. Watch out for her. No, I'm saying legend in the making. Did y'all like my scene? Uh, you were amazing. Did you see me? You were amazing too. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. Okay. What's going on, man? We got my partner JB with me, man. Um, we seen you at the end. You know what I'm saying? Came through. You played some classic stuff. Uh, we appreciate your music. Um, tell us about what's going on with the music and everything. Well, I want to say uh, appreciate that boy Rob Eyes Blue Production for. Uh, Put one of my songs on the soundtrack, that real one. Like he said, I'm your boy JB Wise, the vibe of the South. So uh, I got a lot of stuff going on with the music. I got a project coming out. But uh, right now, that real ones is out on all platforms. You know what I mean? You just type in JB Wise or whatnot, real ones will pop up. But uh, yeah, I'm just appreciative of this moment right now. So I'm glad to, to be here, man. I appreciate everything. So JB Wise. Hey, let me ask you something. Can the fake ones download the real ones? I mean, they can, but they ain't gonna relate. You know what I mean? Only real ones can relate. You know what I mean? So they can download it. Anybody can download it. You know what I mean? So, but it's all about the real ones. You know what I mean? The real ones that we run the world. The real ones run the world, man. The fake ones, they gonna be here because, you know, that's the way the world works. But it's all about the real ones. Best. Best. Great. Tell us. Tell <laughs> Tell us about, uh, what is it, the vibe of the South? Or yeah. Tell us what, about that uh, title. Yeah, I am the vibe of the South, you know. Like, everything that I do is all about a vibe, you know what I'm saying? It's not all about, it's not nothing about a gender, it ain't nothing about a race. It's all about a vibe. It's all about, you know what I mean, having that good energy. You know what I mean? When you got that, when you got that good energy, you know what I mean, that vibe come out come out of you. And, you know what I mean, real ones can see that. So it all coincides with each other, you know what I mean? So it's a real vibe. Great energy, dope shit, so dopeness, greatness, you know what I mean? I'm all about creating great, you know what I mean? So you play one of the uh, classics too, man. Tell us about that one. Oh yeah. Uh that bitch I got money. Yeah. Uh yeah, I am I am a stat boy. It's it's tatted on me, you know what I mean? I got this on right now, but it's tatted on me. You know what I mean? I'm from the west side of Atlanta, born and raised. So uh yeah, uh shout out to the stat boys, you know, uh back in the day, it was me, stat boy Rico. Sable go me, JB, Stat Boy JB. So, you know, I had to play a little classic just enough to let them know where I came from. Facts, facts. Let them know that, you know what I mean, this shit authentic. This real Atlanta. You know what I mean? So I'm all about real Atlanta. You know what I mean? It's on for West Side. So, yeah. Hey, man. Uh, tell the people where I can find you. Uh, everything JB Wise, that J A E B W I Z E, JB Wise. You can find me on all platforms. On Instagram, it's JB Wise. So, Rock with your boys, JB Wise. Thanks. We here. Tell everybody where you from. I'm from Atlanta. From the west side, wrong four, Oakland City. Hey. <laughs> what about you here, man? I know you connected with Rob, man. Um, tell us a little, little bit about Rob, because I know you know him for real. Yeah, that's my brother, Mikael, Tony O, all of them. Like, we grew up together, been knowing each other since middle school. So, of course, I had to come out and support. Thanks. What you thought about the movie? I liked it. It was funny. It had its funny parts, and I feel like Tonio acted. That's his real life. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting seeing that. But nah, I, I really liked it. They did a good job. I can't wait till the more projects come out. You heard who wrote it? Huh? You know who wrote it? Rob? Uh-uh. Who? Me? You wrote it. 
Wrote what? I wrote the film. Really? Yeah. And I directed it. Really? You know? Uh -uh. And I ain't gonna lie, I paid him to keep that on the hush. Oh, you did? Yeah. Mm. Just keep it between me and you, ain't yeah, I'm gonna edit that part out. I'm gonna tell them, yeah. We're gonna edit that. Don't tell them about it. <laughs> hey, man, we here, man, with Jasmine, man. It's just my people, man. I love her spirit. I love everything her and Rob are doing. It's inspirational, it's motivational. And look, my favorite part about it, y'all had your son in there. So let's let's get back, let's, let's start on it. What role was you playing? I played Xiomara Juarez, and she was the cartel boss, well, the daughter of the cartel boss, and then she assumed the role herself after, I'm not gonna tell too much. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but she assumed the role herself after a while. Um, and so I play just, you know, somebody a little ruthless, you know. Now you kind of remember like Queen of the South, man. That's what I was going for. That's what I channeled. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, she... Teresita. Te Teresita. Teresita. <laughs> so what, what was Rob's process, the writing process, like since you being around him? What was his process writing it? Um, he is very much, like, he's an unorthodox writer. He doesn't have, like, a schedule or anything like that. It just strikes him the mood, and he'll just be, like, zoned. And he actually writes in his phone. Um, so he'll be typing, typing, typing very vigorously. Um, and he has bouts where he can do pages and pages in one night or just like a little part in a full day. It just depends. But he has a very unorthodox way of writing, for sure. Man, like I say, I appreciate everything your Eyes Glue production is doing. Yeah, man, y'all keeping it up. Like you said, how, do, how was it with no budget but making it work? You know, because I, I know how it goes. You know, anytime you want a project to be, you know, great, you know, and you're trying, you're trying, you're trying, but spending your own money, it takes, it takes patience, it takes, it takes a lot to just, I would say patience is the, the main thing. Um, and, and that that really is what has to carry you through because it is more so um, wanting to see the project complete, wanting to see it done, by any means necessary, getting it done. Sometimes, like you said, wearing multiple hats. And so that is definitely, I mean, ne next time we'll have a budget for sure. Now listen, she pulled up, make sure everybody ate. Uh, hold on, Rob, where you hiding over there, man? We, I'm, I'm trying to give you all your flowers. All right, we got to break the news to her. I, I really rolled it and he bought it from me. Oh, damn. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got, I got, I got jealous. Like, everybody's like, it, it wrote good. Everybody, who wrote it? So I'm starting to get jealous. Like, damn, man, you know, I ain't no good ghost writer. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. But now he did his thing, man. Uh, writing and directing and playing all the hots, man. How, how was it just, just doing everything, man? Guerrilla style, man. Guerrilla style is very tough, but it's worth it. I mean, my wife will tell you, we spent countless hours, all our little money that we don't have. <laughs> but we made it happen. We bartered. And we have people that's gracious enough to show us love and allow us to film in their um, businesses, their homes. Yeah. We got made solid on our team. Hey, hey who, who, who are them? Where are we like, we don't like them. People, they my people, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shout out to Made Solid TV. Man. Appreciate y'all, man. Last thing I hold y'all. What's next? 96. 96. Exit 9. 96. Exit 9. But 96 first, baby. Yeah, appreciate y'all, man. I want to give y'all my flowers while I'm here, man. I love everything y'all doing. Keep pushing, man. Everything positive, man. Keep, keep it going, man. Real Westside. Appreciate you, man. Real Westside. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Hey man, it's over with. I finally watched it. I had my eyes really glued. Shout out to Eyes Glue Production. I see why they call themselves Eyes Glue. Man, this was so much motivation. It was real. I uh, support everything they doing. The event turned out good. Shout out to Third Eye Vision, man. Mike behind the camera. And playing a role in there. Man, shout out to Mike. Man, shout out to everybody, man. Um, it was beautiful. Let's, let's keep it positive. Let's keep working. Slime Race, let's get it.